Let's welcome another member of the Irish Tongue Poisoning League, the great Irish playwright, equal in fame to Oscar Wilde, George Bernard Shaw. Hello, Mr. Shaw. Hello, brother. Actually, Mr. Shaw, I hesitated for a long time about whether to invite you to this session. After all, your works don't have a high search volume on the current internet, which seems a bit inconsistent with your status as a Nobel Prize in Literature Laureate. Hmm. Is what's popular necessarily noble? Then the common cold must be very noble, right? Hmm. But there is indeed such a phenomenon now, where some people's works are of poor quality, but they receive a lot of attention. Huh. For those foolish people, you will always find even more foolish people admiring them. As I know, you love traveling and have even been to China. What benefits has this extensive experience brought to your writing? Oh, brother, I must say, the more people I meet, the more I like dogs. Um, your poisonous tongue style is not inferior to Oscar Wilde's, huh? Could it be that you were taught by the same master? Hmm, I'm not too sure about that. I only know that I was born smart, but education ruined me. Well, I'm not sure if you were born smart, but you're quite humorous now. Is it because you keep studying history? History? The lessons of history teach us only one thing, that people never learn from the lessons of history. Why is the world fraught with danger, yet you remain so optimistic? Hmm, if this world were perfect and had no problems at all, wouldn't we have nothing to do? Well, that makes sense. Then how do you view death? Hey, it's not a big deal. I've always known that no matter how long I live, this kind of thing will happen sooner or later. Hmm. You know, in the current era of self-media and economic situation, many people are starting to become freelancers. What do you think about this? Actually, most people don't really crave freedom, because freedom often means responsibility. All right, let's uh, change the subject. Valentine's Day is coming soon. Any advice for lovers? Oh, my advice is straightforward. If you want to get married, go ahead and get married. If you want to stay single, then stay single. In the end, you'll regret it either way. Oh, um, I don't know if that advice will be helpful, but let me ask one final question. What advice do you have for those friends who can't find their own position? Hmm, then don't look for it. Life is not about finding yourself. It is about creating yourself.